A riot at one of Australia's immigration detention facilities has sparked renewed interest into the country's controversial immigration policies. Incoming migrants are prevented from entering the country and are instead sent to detention centers located in the South Pacific where they can be held indefinitely. As a whole, Australia has been marred by accusations of racism and xenophobia towards both legal and undocumented immigrants. So why is Australia so anti-immigrant? Well, Australia has a long and dark history of preventing non-white people from living in the country. The first European colonizers referred to the native Australian Aboriginal population as savages and brought violence and disease, nearly causing their extinction. After the British took Aboriginal land on the basis of it being terra nullius, or nobody's land, the native population was refused full citizenship until 1967. Since that time, the Australian government has attempted to balance the scales by helping Aboriginal citizens with social welfare programs. But today, research shows that nearly half of white Australians believe Aboriginals have unfair advantages, with roughly 20% of respondents saying that they would not sit next to an Aboriginal on a bus. In the 1800s, Australia experienced a gold rush, bringing waves of immigrants, predominantly from Europe, North America, and China. But anti-Asian legislation was implemented until around 1901, when the different British colonies came together to form a unified Australia. This federation specifically began enacting policies that made it easier for white Europeans to emigrate and harder for those from non-English speaking countries. The laws were known as White Australia Policy and started with the Immigration Restriction Act of 1901. The act worked by having immigrants write out 50 words in a language that was chosen by the immigration officer. In practice, the officers would choose a language they knew the testee would not likely know, and if they failed the test, they would be considered prohibited. Similar policies worked to mostly prevent non-white immigration, and were only dismantled starting in 1949. It took until 1973 for race to no longer be considered a factor for immigration status in Australia. However, today the government's views towards immigrants is still needlessly aggressive. The current practice of detaining undocumented migrants has been criticized by Human Rights Watch for the poor conditions in offshore detention facilities. These centers have even been used for the indefinite, mandatory detention of children, despite legislation designed to stop the practice. Moreover, the Australian government began a program in 2013 aimed at preventing asylum seekers and undocumented immigrants from entering the country, called Operation Sovereign Borders. Those who are caught attempting to arrive by boat are often turned back by Australian Defence Forces, and others are sent to detention centres. Legal experts have said that this program violates the 1951 Refugee Convention, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, and other similar treaties. A controversial ad for the program states, No way, you will not make Australia home, in reference to undocumented immigrants and people smugglers. Despite the fact that Australians of European origin were themselves once immigrants, anti-multiculturalism is still vibrant and widespread. Aboriginal Australians have long faced racism, and they still face it to this day. For an overview of the country's indigenous people, check out this video. Aboriginal populations are often grouped together and referred to as Aborigines, however, some consider that term pejorative. Instead, legally, the native populations of Australia are referred to as Aboriginals and Torres Strait Islanders. Some also prefer regional terms like Ku Eri in New South Wales or Murray in Queensland. Thanks for watching Test Tube News. Make sure to like and subscribe for new videos every day. <laughs>